we started making a game. Yeah, I know. We started making a game, and uh, I don't, I don't really know where to start. I guess I could start with the name, which is I'm gonna name the game King of Sticks. And now, what King of Sticks is gonna be is it's gonna be uh, basically King of the Hill, except for I want to give each player a stick that uh, has absurd amount of knockback on it, and you know you can fling players off the platform. Whoever has the most points at the end of the round, yada yada yada, kills. Sorry if, like, some clips sound differently. It's because I still wasn't able to figure out um, how to hook up my gaming mic to my camera mic, make an external mic. I tried, you know, I got the cord, but literally the camera's like, no. And no one makes YouTube videos on this specific camera on how to hook up that mic. So it's kind of annoying. I think I just need to order a separate mic uh, specifically for this one, which I'll get to eventually, but, you know, budget. Basically, I started off with doing this, is I opened up a world, a uh, base plate world, and I realized it was flat, and I was like, okay, what I want to do is I want to put in some water. So I put in some water, I put in some water, but, you know, you highlight the area, and you kind of just go down, select whatever box you want, and I only selected water. You know, you choose the width, you choose the depth, you hit generate, and Roblox is this lovely thing for you where it just generates the water. You don't have to spend hours and hours painting over the whole map trying to get the ocean you want. It's just a simple generate. Now that I had my water generated though, I needed a platform. So what I first did was I put in a block and then I went over, I think, to the explorer page or the properties page. I don't really know. And I put in the coordinates of the block being 0, 0, 0. Now what this would do to the block is it would put it in the very center of the map. And then I went over to the block and I just moved it up out of the water, made it a bit bigger. And now we had our base plate. Here it is. No, I see you. I know you're not. Ah, fuck. Whoa, this shit be trippy. Okay. No, we need this. We need to scale it. Yes. Yes, I know what I'm doing. There we go, okay. We'll just scale it out a tad, tiny bit. There we go, okay. So, problem with this is its position. I want to see if I can, yes. Let's just make this zero, zero, and zero. Okay, great. So the only place it took it was down there, which means it's in the middle of the map. Get out of here, fly. What we can do, though, is we click move, and we move it to the top of the map. There we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. I say we kind of make it crimson. Here's my reasoning. The base plate is probably going to be where most people die. So, crimson. Perfect. The first problem I had with the base plate was that it was big enough but it was just too much space. There wasn't like, basically, if I were to have that base plate and only keep that, players wouldn't die. They would just keep going into the center and then it would just be a big, you know, slap each other with stick fest. It's not, you know, it wouldn't be that fun. So my solution to that was I wanted to basically, you know, keep the base plate, but put a big ass hole in the middle. And that's what I did. I just kind of made a, a like a square with a big ass hole in the middle. Now, a problem I bumped into, this is like later, but you know, I, I started grouping my objects. And after I started grouping my objects, like I grouped the base plate together, you know, all those four individual squares I had to place to make the base plate. I grouped that all together into one base plate. Next was the spawners. I moved on to the spawners, I placed a spawn pad you know, kind of, I think it was about eight. Hold on, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, it was about eight. And so far that looked good. So I was like, okay, this looks great. I got my spawn pads, I got my base plate. I grouped together the spawn pads, you know, keep your area organized. And then I wanted to move on to the second level. Now, the reason, you know, I wasn't putting too much effort into the first level is because I'm just kind of trying to make a rough outline, you know, I'm trying to make a rough outline. So I moved on to the second base plate and, you know, it's just, it's simple. You just make a square, but smaller. So that's exactly what I did. I made a square, but smaller than the original base plate. 
So it's like a little pyramid you got going. Now, after I had that next, um, I had that next, you know, second floor, I think is what I called it, or second level, I realized that players are going to need a way to get up to that next level, you know. They're going to need a way to become the king of the hill. So my idea was I want to make four ways to get up there. Uh, each of them going to be a different type of parkour. So I got started on one. I think the first one I made was a bunch of spears all stacked together. But as I started working on it, I realized something, which was one of the spawn pads, you know, one of the eight spawn pads, you know, if you look at it, there's kind of a spawn pad in the center of the ones on the corners, would be directly next to the parkour, and that would give an unfair advantage to players who didn't spawn at that spawn pad. So I had to delete all those spawn pads, but the problem was, the main spawn pad that I put all the other spawn pads together, you know, remember how I said I grouped them up? That main spawn pad that I grouped them up to, uh, it was a center one. Like, it was one that would be next to parkour. So, annoyingly, I had to delete that, or no, I learned this later, but I originally delete that one spawn pad, and that was before I learned that you could ungroup things. That was annoying, but... I deleted them all, and then I placed four spawn pads on each corner. So I was like, okay, perfect. Then that will work with the parkour I'm going to make in the middle of the spawn pads. So I think first I started on spears. Yeah, I started on spears. I made, you know, simple spear jump, and I tried to put some color into it, put some pizzazz. Not make it so bland and boring. Like, imagine if I just had only, like, white or black or green balls. It would just, like... It would just be bad. That would just be so boring to play on each time. So, you know what? I made it colorful. You jump up here. You jump up here. You go over here. You go over here. Go over here. Go over here. Go over here. And you make it to the top. We made our first bit of parkour. Now, will people bully each other for that? Yes. That's why we're going to make four other ways. But still, I'm very proud. We, we, we made it. We made it. And then I kind of tried to follow that same color scheme with my next one, which should have been wedges. So basically, I took a triangle, I made it into a wedge, or I, I just took the wedge, but a wedge looks like a triangle on its side. Pretty simple. And then I made little parkour jumps that players can kind of climb up, get to the next level. Easy as that. Um, and then the next one I decided to do was a ladder parkour. So... Players would climb up each ladder, jump up to a next ladder, climb up the ladder, jump up to a next ladder, climb up the ladder, jump up to a next ladder. And then I made the last jump to the next platform a little more difficult because the ladder parkour was not as hard as the other parkours I had made previously. So, you know, try to balance it out. Boom. 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 Fuck. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay, you can make it. So it's scuffed, but you can make it. Perfect. And then last but not least, I made a easy but tedious um, kind of block parkour. So you literally just jump up all these flat platforms in a circle next to the, um, to the next level. And then, you know, I kind of just, I had my map. I had my water, I had my base plate, I had my parkour, I had my second level. Now, this is nowhere near done. The only reason you guys are seeing as much as that is because I recorded and I ended up recording for, you know, two hours trying to figure this stuff out, you know, learning how to group things together, learning how to spawn in parts, scale them, etc. By the way, I will leave links in the description of the people I watch to kind of help me get to this point. There are really great YouTube videos that, you know, I watched and I learned from. You know, gotta shout out those people. Can't just say I learned this on my own because that's complete bullshit, my guy. I did not learn this on my own. I had to watch so many hours of YouTube. Actually, not that many hours. I just had to watch a few videos, but still, you know. Side note, tomorrow is going to be my birthday. And I'm really excited because I'm doing this thing. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to make a whole video on it. But I'm doing this thing. And I'm just, mm, how about this? The hint is, I really hope I don't become a pancake. Good night, comb your teeth, and brush your hair.
I'm just recording this while editing. Um, I'm going to be doing my first stream on Saturday, so uh, be there. It will probably be about 12 o'clock Colorado time. So, yeah.